Alright, Hayes Mega here, and we got another anime figure desktop show and tell here with uh, Hanekawa Tsubasa from uh, the Bake Monogatari series. Alright, uh, this is the, the cat one. <laughs> the cat one. So, uh, here's the story about how I got this one. Um, it's kind of small, but uh, it's a Ben Presto Tsubasa Hanekawa figure. And as you can see here, it cost me 1886 yen, uh, 1886 yen, which is about 15 US dollars. Um, I got this in Akihabara somewhere. Um, I was just like looking at figures, and hey, that one looks pretty good, and it's cheap, so I grabbed it. <laughs> so, so that's that's the story of how I got this one. Uh, I was at Akihabara, and uh, and I saw it, and I bought it. So it was a uh, very cheap uh, price figures. Uh, Japan is a great place uh, to buy prize figures because uh, it's a lot cheaper in Japan than it is over here. So, all right. So that's the that's the story on how I got her, and uh, and yeah. So uh, let's uh, let's take the the wrapping off of her. Um, actually, so um, okay. So yeah, I, I actually kind of did look up uh, how much you could get her for. You can get her for about thirty three dollars. On Amazon, I don't know why she's so expensive when it's only like, you know, less than twenty dollar price figure, you know. Um, but you can get her. Uh, the only place I could find this figure was Amazon. I couldn't find it anywhere else. So, it's a prize figure. So, um, it's. Uh, I think it's a. It came out in twenty thirteen. So it's, you know, it would be pretty hard to find nowadays. Is what I want to say. But I did find it on Amazon. So, um, you'll have to type in like. Nish, Nishio, Ishin Nishio or something, yeah. Um, it, it's a, it's a, but it's a band Presto figure. Um, you just can't see it um, because the price tag is in the way. Uh, with that being said, let us let us remove the price tag. Uh, let us remove the uh, plastic around it. Okay, so there you go. You can see the box without the uh, without the plastic wrapping on it. So it is indeed a Ben Presto figure. It's a Ben Presto DXF figure. I don't know know if I've heard about that ever before. So um, this is a interesting item, an interesting treasure I found at Akihabara. So so let's go take a look at the box. The box is pretty small. It's about almost three quarters of a chopstick tall you know your normal chopstick um, so here we got a picture of the figure right here in the front it says Nishio Ishin or Ishin Nishio and this is a oh this is a kind of a crossover uh, this looks like it's some kind of crossover uh, figure because they do that for the Monogatari series and all right so we got some kind of bluish background with some Japanese text in it it looks like looks like katakana I think um, you got your band presto DXF here okay let's go see this side so this side so you can definitely tell it's a it's a UFO catcher uh, box uh, prize because it's got these cutouts for uh, the UFO catcher claws okay and here you got like a upper half of the figure close-up if it looks like that figure on the box I will be very happy Okay, so and also, so this is like kind of like part of the price figure line. Um, so there's a Hanakawa one, and then there's a uh, Nadeshiko, and uh, and then there's a. Hmm, you know what? I might have. I might actually have that one. Uh, I have the Hachikuji, and there is a. Um, uh, Senjo Gahara. That was her name. Yeah, Senjo Gahara. So you can see it's a 20, 2013 figure. Uh, it's kind of like a prize slash trading figure. It looks pretty nice. All those figures look really nice. I would want them all. <laughs> so there you go. There's a, so there's a half shot of the figure right there. There's a little Neko right there. Okay, and we'll take a look at the box, top of the box. So there you go. On the Gatari. And so, so this is definitely for use as prize in Japan only. So this is definitely a Japan only uh, figure.
Uh, whether you can import it or not, I am not sure, uh, but I did see you can get it on Amazon. All right, so let's go open her up. Okay, uh, I hope you like that little skit right there. <laughs> I was pulling uh, the cat girl out of the bag and she had like a, um, a plastic bag over her head. So I just, she, was, she was trying to get out. Uh, but it was so funny when I tried to take her out. Um, so it was very difficult to get her out of the, 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 uh, the bubble wrap because her hair is so sharp, you know? It's so sharp and it, it's, it like kind of sticks onto the... Uh, the packaging so it was hard to get her out I'm I'm glad I didn't break her okay um, so I'm gonna go take a quick look at her we'll do a quick 360 again looks nice very cute all right here's me up okay all I can say is Ben Presto you've done it again with your amazing Price figures. So, like I said, I got this figure for less than twenty dollars, like fifteen dollars, and uh, it was totally, uh, totally worth it. Um, it's a very nice, another very nice prize figure from uh, Ben Presto. Um, sometimes, some some figures are kind of a hit, and some of them are a miss. So this one is definitely a hit. Okay, so let's go take a take a closer look at her, and we'll scrutinize her a little bit. All right, but we can't scrutinize her much because she's super duper cheap. She didn't. Um, she didn't uh, destroy my wallet. Okay, so let's start at the base and then we'll work our way up. So there's the base. It's all there's some ja kind of Japanese text on it. I think that I don't know. That must have something to do with the uh, with the cat. And it's a bunch of little triangles and stuff. If anybody knows what that says, please let me know. Uh, so uh, assembling the figure was kind of weird. Uh, um, there was like holes in the feet and there's holes in the base. I'm like, mm, okay, well, what happened to the pegs? There's no pegs. And uh, so I found out she's kind of got these kind of shoes you got to put on her. Um, they're these white things right here. I, they do, I guess they're kind of like shoes, but not really. But yeah. So. so you basically, you put these on her feet and then you put her down. That's where the pegs are and you put it down on the... Um, the base pretty secure I don't think she's gonna droop or anything I hope not um, so let's start our feet the skin looks pretty good yeah not bad skin looks really good I don't see too many problems with it the feet look like feet um, and uh, she's kinda got like a kinda peach colored uh, nail polish here here very nice nice looking feet and uh, my camera shows it kind of dull, but in real life, in real life, the picture, uh, the color is a little bit more bright, vibrant than this. Um, let me see if I can fix the color on my camera. Okay, sorry, I could not, uh, I cannot get it to uh, to show the correct colors. But anyway, it's a little bit brighter than what you're seeing on the screen right now. So um, it's like a, she's kind of wearing those peach colored. Uh, Pajamas or the orange pajamas from the anime. Very cute, but with the little uh, Neko print on it. I like it. <laughs> and it's very nice. the The molding is very nice. I don't really see any kind of lines or anything on it. It you know it's molded nicely. It's not. Is it really painted? I'm not sure if it's painted either. You know, it's kind of like they just they they mold it. That it's that's the color of the the plastic or something. You know, um, but. However, this is painted. So the little little ribbon here looks like it's painted yellow. 
and this kind of there's paint like around here very nice it looks like it's in the line for the most part it's kind of bad right here but looks okay okay keep on going up out a little bit all right well there she is there's her upper body very cute just get those big uh big cat ears uh they kind of got like a yellow yellowish kind of shading to it uh not yellowish uh i would say kind of purplish almost like purple and pink um her hair is like white with uh purple shading in it very nice it has shading that's 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 great that's what you would find find in like you know higher dollar figures. So let's look at the pajamas. So she's got that pe same peach colored pajama top, and it's a uh, kind of the two buttons are button, and then the other two buttons are just open. So you can see her tummy. There you go. You can see her tummy. Very nice. And then, and it's kind of like peeling off of her shoulders there so you get a little bit of that side boob and top boob action the skin looks good on the, on the prize figure oh, I am impressed for for such a low dollar prize figure it looks pretty good it's a little shi it's a little bit on the shiny side yeah you know skin's not supposed to be shiny you know not too shiny anyway there's the face, looks nice. She's got those kind of golden cat eyes. And she's got a red mouth. It's open a little bit. And she's got she's got the cat paws out. I like the pose. The pose is nice. It's very cute. Let's go take a look at the hair. The hair is like well there's a lot of hair, man. Most of the figure is hair. Like it cover it like eclipses like half the figure of the hair. Um, it's white with a kind of purplish shading. It looks pretty good. It's got like a purple tint to it. A little bit. Everything looks good except for this right here. This looks like it's been pasted on there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that looks like it's been pasted on there. Like, like it was like an afterthought or something type of thing. They just kind of go all over the place. This figure will take up a little bit of space because of this hair. And then because of the hair, you can't really see behind her, but it's the same, you know, PJs. All right. Not bad. How's that for a $15 price figure? It's, uh, you know, there's really nothing. There's not really much you can scrutinize it for. Some of the paint is kind of not on in the lines. And some of the, some of the molding, like on the hair, is pretty bad, but... The rest is pretty good. There's nothing I can really complain about, you know. It was only like $15, so I like it. I like it a whole lot. doesn't take up a whole lot of space. I would say mm, yeah, that's almost like a 110 scale figure. I think that is a 110 scale. It looks kind of small. Yeah, that's, pretty, that's a pretty small figure. I would say that's a 110 scale. I wish I had like a Beach Queens. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a one. That's definitely uh, if you were to scale this figure, it would be one ten scale. That's what I. That's what I think it would. It would be like so. All right. Uh, so that's all. That's all I can say about her. Uh, it's a solid figure. I didn't pay a lot for it, and there's really you know not much to complain about um, for for the price you know, and um, but for the price it's it's solid it's a great figure all right well thanks for watching i will get a couple uh rotating uh stand shots and then uh, some close-ups and that's the end of the video thanks for watching it's out.